ladies and gentlemen, it's day number 8,242 on April 29th or 8th or 7th, I don't know, it's April. <laughs> and uh, it's a few days before our second skid plate race of the season. Uh, folks, that should be news and enough for you guys to hear. Yes, we are going to be running these cars again, the 96 and the double zero. The reason is because the two drivers for these cars, they'll be out of town this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, so they said, well, run those two cars again. I just uh, started up my 96 car, runs. Doesn't know if it drives, but at least it runs. That's a good start. This car on the other hand broke or DNF'd, however you want to look at it, Yes. out of the last race. So yes. we're here to look at it, see what it's needed. It might only need gas. It might only need a battery. It might only need a whole no new motor. But shall we found out? Shall we find out? Let's find out. I noticed it looks like there's more damage on this car since I ran it, but I don't want to. I don't want to jump to a conclusion. Now what's funny is I did this, right? Got to hit the button. I, I don't think it's uh, no. The gauge at least would turn on. Yeah, but I was doing this and I was like, car's done. Well, you have to start it this way. Yep. There's nothing. I'm getting nothing. All right, we're gonna go and see if we can jump start it. Well, that worked. Is it hooked up? No, uh, but today won't be a big, 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 big work day. I say that now, which means watch this motor be blown up. Watch it. Put down your shooting iron, Peppy. He'll probably hit it. Nope, he didn't. Well, let's see if the horn works. <coughs> yeah, baby. <coughs> <laughs> I like how you shut off my horn. During the skip play race, you saw me going. It's not working. It's not working at all. It's because I didn't push this button. It doesn't want to start though. <laughs> but that was a lot more than it, it was. Yeah. One interesting thing to look at on this car is how it's sitting. I don't know if this was a mistake or if this is how Ricky Schlick usually likes to drive. Maybe. But. Do you like my armrest? No, <laughs> luxury. Yeah, you're kind of leaning forward in this race. Yeah. It does not say I'm low on gas. The oil lamp's on though. Did I blow her up? I keep trying to crank it. <laughs> It sounds funky, doesn't it? Yeah. It doesn't sound good. Because it just stalled in the race. It just shut up. And it just was like, we're not doing this anymore. It doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound good, does it? All right, well, suddenly it does look like. You go to hit the starter button, and it's only the starter that's moving, not the motor. You don't hear the motor kind of cranking or coughing or anything like that. Right. I, will, I guess we'll see, but it just doesn't sound right. It sounds like uh, the starter's turning, which usually it's almost backwards where the starter dies, but the motor's perfectly. Like, well, that, that raises a question. Do you think I lost a belt in the race? All right, Tommy's going to give her some juice. <laughs> Nothing, huh? Well, Tommy knows the uh, signs of a <laughs> melted motor. That's right. Not melted, though. That's a good, yeah, I was gonna say it, it wasn't running really high or anything. So we're gonna look and see, is this the belt that we're looking at? Yeah. That potentially may not these, be there anymore? These spark plug do, uh, wires seem very loose though. See what I mean? Yeah. You kind of go to here, clip. Most common things about these old cars, Hondas, yeah. is that the gasket kind of breaks loose, so. It happened in my streetcar, I kept driving it. It almost sounded You bad. know what? Crank it again? The belts are turning. Yeah, it's got no spark is what it looks like. There's something funky about this wire right here. And pull it out. Is there a spark plug in it? It ran too nice for it not to be one. Yeah, there's a, there's a spark plug in there. Everything's moving like it should. It just has no fuel delivery or, I don't know, a spark. Yeah, but I don't know if it's a fuel delivery issue because you're spraying the starter fluid into it. This car did come out of a junkyard. 
They all do. Well, to figure out what's exactly going on with this car, we are now diving deep inside to take a look. It is windy, folks. It, it's kind of hard to tell this second, but... Tommy, the wind! I know, it's crazy. So we posted a video of the uh, motor. We have a lot of people with car know-how. Tommy and I, uh, we never want to suggest that we know more about cars than we actually do. Um, we're pretty much, what do you say, pretty much regular guys that have just been around cars our whole life? Yeah. We're not mechanics or anything, so a lot of this is just off of uh, suggestion and, and what we know about motors. Um, so, what we're doing with this car right now, and I know you're probably thinking, after a whole season of the first low budgets, now we tell you that? We posted a video of this motor, what it's doing. It sounds like the distributor very well could be an issue. Maybe the cap, maybe the rotor. We know Tommy's car sounded very similar to this, where it's just cranking, but there's there's no want. There's no heart inside. So we'll see what comes on if we don't blow away first. So this is the distributor cap in a Honda motor. He's right. Tommy, you had a saying once a long time ago, and I'm starting to regret my saying where I would say, Hondas don't quit or something. It's a Honda, it'll keep running. That's right. This is our, what, second Honda now? Yeah. Maybe third? Actually, our third. Yeah. Hey, Ryan, you want to hear a motor and tell us what's wrong? I think I'm the wrong person to be asking. You're probably not, <laughs> compared to us. <laughs> it's like it doesn't have any spark. Oh. <laughs> well, your coil cap's off, dummy. You ready, Tommy? Yep. Oh, wait, we're not hooked yeah, oh, there's, there's a problem. Are you guys there hosting you a how-to? Yeah, Bob Vila. Welcome to the low budgets, Ryan Parcher. You see, this is where we went wrong. Yeah. Right about here. <laughs> oh, I think you got a problem there. You got a major problem. Yeah, yeah. I think you have a broke timing belt. Good going, Jeffrey. Yeah, because it just ran and then quit. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You have a broken timing belt. That sucks, guys. Because that means you probably bent a couple valves too. Sometimes they have like a safe mode where if the uh, if the cam or if you break a timing belt, it'll clock into a position yeah. where all the valves are closed. Uh -huh. uh, that's ideal, but I don't think that. It, so if usually it, they don't do that. Usually right? they yeah. yeah. So there's a couple still open. So if it's still <laughs> turning, that means the piston yeah. already beaten into it and we You either popped them. a hole in the piston or the. Yeah. Yeah. So Ryan's saying that we might be screwed. Well, Ricky Schlick might be screwed, really. Moment of truth, Tommy? Let's do it. See how it looks. We're hoping that there's a timing belt broken. <laughs> do you see it, bud? Do you see <laughs> I kind of think I already see a belt still there. Fred? Yeah, but just stand there and look at that while you crank it. Crank see it. See if you see the pulley turn. Water in the oil, too. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Do we? Uh-huh. Got a little milkshake. That shit is. Got a little milkshake going on. <laughs> It's turning. Yeah. Go ahead and crank it and make sure all the valves are going in and out and up and down. Yeah. Valves aren't doing a thing. Oh, that's kind of strange. Go ahead and do that again. What the hell? You he must have broke the cam. Yeah. Cam must be broken up in the front. Mm -hmm. Wow. So how much of a pain in the ass is that? Uh, probably a lot easier than changing the timing belt. Yes. Yeah, which that. you well, you got to take the timing belt off anyway. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These poor old things take so much shit. I <laughs> know. Yeah, so, so we don't help. So the belt is still on it. Yep. That's the worst news. I mean, yeah. Yes. That's, yeah, that kind of sucks. That's weird. I've never heard of a cam just shat, just snapping like that. It's, it's got to be the cam because yeah, nothing. Yeah, because that pulley's too. Yeah, dirty. exactly. And rockers aren't doing shit. Uh-huh. So it's the cam that's not moving. Very rare that that happens. Well, you're a car guy. You're a... I mean, I'm the when he's guessing, then we know we're in trouble. So yeah. I'm sure there are days that these overhead cams break, but I wouldn't think I'd see the day in these type of things. Well, yeah, I guess they're, they're all old, though. They all oh, yeah, they've got miles uh -huh. on them. I guess it would take one of us to do it, though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm not too surprised. All right, folks, so we're at the front end now of Shayla's number two trailer car. Last time we were out here, with this car, this car had a weird, it was almost like it was out of gas. So we put the new radiator in this last time and now we put water in. We're gonna see if it holds water like a radiator should. We got some gas, a gallon of gas. So this car should start and run on its own. If it doesn't, there's an issue that we're not seeing. If it does, we're good to go. So today is April 29th, 2014. May 17th, 
2014 is night of destruction. So we are just about two weeks away. So Tyler's putting gas in. This is pretty much the last thing we're doing. Today was a hot day. Uh, we got up to 98 degrees here uh, in April and we were freezing our butts off on Saturday just a few days ago. That was a exciting, slow startup. People always say that they think we're on alcohol when we do this. I have heard that multiple times. They're like, you guys have to be drunk. Is something funky going on right now? It's like it's got enough delivery Yeah, that's weird. This car might have a big problem. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap. Woo! That's a wrap here from the April 19th, 2014 day. Not a lot was done, but uh... April 29th, but don't let him think I told you that. He just knows that because it says it on his trophy. So folks, that's a roundup from April 29th, 2014. Here at Irwindale Speedway, the low budgets. You saw the insanity that was Night of Destruction last year with all the amazing that went on that day. Not destruction. Three of them this year. Three times where we're gonna have all these cars going nuts, going crazy, getting ready, smashing, crashing. It's gonna be a fun year. Uh, it's been a, a, a weird start to the year in some cases, a great one in others. Tommy, why are cars pieces of shit? Except that one. Apparently you hit something with your front end last race. <laughs>